Welcome back. It's day 14 of Yes Inc.'s 27th anniversary sweepstakes. Stay tuned for all new content, including a new interview in Yes Inc. history. But first, you heard the bell, and that means we have a winner chosen by random selection. Congratulations, Letitia Beck, on winning $1,000. We had 42 entries on our website, 18 subscriptions to our newsletter, and 62 likes on YouTube for a total of 122 entries. We need a combined 100 new entries every day for you to win $1,000, so keep watching and telling your friends and family. Once you enter, you'll be included in the sweepstakes until February 2nd. As a reminder, we'll post videos every day by 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If we have 100 new entries in our sweepstakes by 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll do a random drawing and the winner will be contacted by 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Winners will have one hour to respond to claim their winnings. If winners do not respond within one hour, we will randomly select another winner, so be on the lookout and make sure to include your email and phone number commenting on YouTube. At the front of the video, you will hear all new content from an effective educator and more Yes Inc. history from Claudette Yarbrough. My name is LaCrystia Reed, a Yes Inc. team member. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the next 27 days between January the 7th and February the 2nd of listening, learning, and earning a possible $1,000 when we have at least a new 100 of you listening, learning, and earning each day from January the 7th through February the 2nd so that you could possibly end up winning $1,000 of our $27,000 anniversary cash. Stay tuned. In this segment, we will share successes of Yes, Inc. participants. Listen carefully for all the compelling reasons to apply to our intensive educator preparation program. My name is Kellen Begin, Director of Communications with Youth Empowerment Services, Yes, Inc. Today we have Donna Lamel, a Yes Inc. participant and effective educator. Let's hear about the impact Donna is having in the classroom. Well, I actually been in education for 20 years before I decided to become a teacher. Um, I worked in the office, so I decided, well, the one way I can affect children and help children more would be to go in the classroom. Because in the office, I, I had communication with them, but I prefer to be in the classroom. So after 20 years, I just decided to do a career change. Yes, really did make me feel comfortable. Uh, it, it gave me confidence. Um, this is my first year being in the classroom as a teacher. Um, you know, I've been a sub before, um, been a para. So, you know, this is the first time I've been in the classroom and it gave me the confidence to know that everything that I'm doing, that I, I, I can do it well. I, I felt strong walking in on day one. So that was very helpful. I really appreciated the program. Well, the good thing is um, at the school that I'm at, the, everybody have a good relationship. I work well with the students. I work well with the, the teachers and the parents are uh, very cooperative. So um, everything has been great. So they, the kids are happy I'm there. <laughs> They actually tell me, oh, I can't wait for to have you next year, you know, <laughs> thinking I might move with them to the next grade. So that made me feel good as an educator, especially a first year educator, that the kids want to stay with me and they want me to move up with them. So that, that was a, a great plus. Easy question. <laughs> the only thing I would change would have been to do this sooner. <laughs> if I would have known about yes, so hopefully um, the video or yes is becoming more known, um, at least in my circle. So I'm hoping it's, it's growing. So after 27 years, um, the only thing I can think of, I would have done it sooner. That's it. I'm, I am very grateful. I'm looking forward to as many years as they allow me to go to the program. I wanna go because it's a win-win. So um, I'm very happy that I, that I went to yes. Actually, the apply for Yes Inc. and the IEP program, it was so easy that uh, uh, it was, what's the word, effortless. You know, I really didn't even try hard. I mean, it was like, it was like a calling. It just came to me. 
So it was a true blessing. And I do recommend um, anybody who needs or who wants to go in education, look it up. You know, it's a plus. It's a win-win situation. You cannot go wrong. I tell everybody I'm very grateful to um, have the experience that I did um, over the summer. I'm very grateful to Yes Incorporated for that. It made awesome. me, Yes Inc. has made me in a, a more effective educator because it gave me knowledge. I mean, it trained, it trained you. It, it, I wasn't, I was afraid when I first walked in. Let me get it, get it straight. I was afraid when I first walked in and we had to do the deliberate practice and, you know, get everything ready. I, I was nervous, but um, the, the teachers, um, the professors, everybody who work with your professionals and they give you the confidence to know that you can do it. So um, the only thing I, I would have definitely done this sooner. So I recommend um, anybody, if you're interested in um, being an educator, the, the way to go is through Yes Incorporated. Don't forget to tune in each day to hear from more of our effective educators. Now let's welcome Claudette Yarbrough, CEO of Yes Inc. as she talks a little bit about the history of Youth Empowerment Services, Yes Inc. from the past 27 years. Hello. All right, today's 27th year history moment is me talking about some of the field trips that we took our students on when we had our charter school. Um, my most favorite trip was 2009. I believe it was 2009. No, the summer of 2009, maybe. Um, when we went to DC. We, we went on a trip before the end of the school year to Washington, D.C., and we took a bus load of students, right? And we always covered the expense of our trips uh, through funding without charging our students. But I remember this trip for so many positive reasons. Oh, let me show you a picture from the trip. All righty then. We are listening to, look at that little one down there. <laughs> really listening to Ernie Duncan, who was Secretary of Education at the time under President Obama. And he had a reading program and we were there at the US Department of Education building that day with our group of about 30 students uh, with our t-shirts on and we're listening to Arnie Duncan. He's reading a book to promote reading among students and we're listening to him talk about reading. This was such a positive trip. Because we pay for everything, we don't always have a lot of money. And all of our kids worked with all of our staff to cook meals in their room. We went grocery shopping to save on food so that we could go to all of the events. Uh, the best part of the trip, according to our students, was to visit the Holocaust Museum because they actually had a Holocaust survivor there. Um, very, very old to talk about living through those times, all of our kids without fail said that was the most um, positive part of the trip. Um, I'm gonna come back to this trip. We also went to um, New Orleans um, after 2005, but we went back in 2010 to help, I have a picture from there. We took our students to UT Austin because the president of UT at the time um, did some kind of event and invited students, um, school students to come. And we took our kids, we were taking our kids. It was right up the street from us, right? Um, UT, we're in San Antonio, UT's in Austin. It's an hour drive, but there we are in the president's 
uh, conference room of the university, listening to the president of the university either install somebody historic. I don't have all the notes, but we were taking notes. I don't know if you can see, but all of our kids always had uh, writing to do from any event. And this looks like a group of about uh, 15 to 30 kids. And we were there at UT. I think these seats here were for the dignitaries who were gonna come into the room and we were sitting behind them at the university. Why did we do that? Because we were always saying to Brown and black kids that yes, you can go to college just because you're not wealthy or um, you don't have a lot of money college can still be in your future if you want to go to college, right? And so any opportunity we had, we would take them to a, um, a, um, a college to introduce them, to make them aware, to expose them to what college life could be about. So this particular day, we toured the college, we walked around, we saw the student center, we saw where kids eat because all of our kids want to know where kids eat i believe we ate there as well um on that particular day when we were at ut austin and um with a group of our kids so i love 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 to um to show our field trips and that our kids okay back to 2009 which was uh just just the attitudes of the kids right we didn't have a lot of money, but we were on a trip, okay? <laughs> I remember this particular trip um, on the way going, we stopped at the Gulf of Mexico and all the kids wanted to do was get off the bus and put their feet in the water. Do you know how many debates I had to have <laughs> with our team about, should we, I mean, water, drowning, what's the worst thing that can happen? That's the way I think, anyway. Eventually, oh my God, those kids came back from putting their feet in the water. The stories they could tell about their feet being in the water. Of course, we didn't have towels because that was not part of the itinerary that day. <laughs> but oh, we made their hearts glad that day, right? Um, and then living together in DC, in those rooms with cooking on the cooktops and the food, everybody sharing, no fights. Uh, again, we're a charter school, so we had a ton of rules. Yes, we did, to keep everybody safe. There were some horror stories happening back in the day of kids going on trips and not coming home, you know? getting drowned, sneaking out a rowboat and everybody drowning or going overseas and kids trying to uh, run away and not go home. Oh my God. There were so many worst case scenario stories. So absolutely, I wanted to make sure that we kept our kids safe. And so we had to have rules to do that, okay? <laughs> and protocols. Um, on the bus back though, I'll never forget. You guys know what happened. 2009, we were on the bus going back to San Antonio from DC when we got the news that the King of Pop, Mr. Michael Jackson himself had passed away. Hmm. That made for a solemn, solemn trip home just thinking about his life and his legacy. 27 years of history. That's a part of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Thanks for listening. Yes, you're in the right place. If you've been getting our emails or heard about this from somewhere else, you're in the right spot. This is what it was. This is what was coming. It's here. This is what we're doing for the next 27 days. Welcome to Yes Inc.'s 27th anniversary celebration. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video.
Yes, $1,000 can be yours. Make sure you listen every day and tell your friends so you and they can possibly win $1,000 of our $27,000 anniversary cash. There are three ways to enter our giveaway, all in the video description. You can enter directly through our website, or subscribe to our Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter, or like and comment on YouTube. Yes, $1,000 can be yours. Prosperous. I am victorious. I am talented. I am creative. I am wise. I am healthy. I am in shape. I am happy. I am positive. I am passionate about life. I am strong. I am confident. I am secure. I am valuable. I am free. I am accepted. I approve of me. I am prepared. I am qualified. I am motivated. I am focused on being effective. I am disciplined. I am determined. I am patient. I am kind. I am generous. Make sure you keep coming back every day to watch, learn, and possibly earn $1,000 in our 27th anniversary sweepstakes. How do you enter to win $1,000? There are three ways to enter, all found in the video description. You can enter our giveaway directly through our website, or subscribe to the Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter, or like and comment these videos on YouTube. We will give away $1,000 daily when we reach a combination of 100 new giveaway entries from the three ways you can enter. Click the links in the description for the three ways to enter our 27th anniversary drawing. If you're one of the lucky daily winners, we will notify you by email and announce during our daily video. If you hear the bell at the beginning of the video, that means we have a lucky winner and we will announce the lucky winner at the beginning of the video. If there is no bell at the beginning of the video, that means there isn't a lucky winner for that day. You absolutely don't want to miss this. Enter now. Attention educators, save the dates for our amazing free five-day intensive educator preparation training in San Antonio, Texas from June 27th to July 1st, 2022. You don't want to miss your free opportunity to be one of 50 participants training to become more effective. Click the link in the video description to begin the selection process. Now, let's learn a little bit more about IEP. Hi, my name is Jamie Payne, and we are in Las Vegas for intensive educator preparation training for effective educators with Yes Inc. The whole program in itself just really has the potential to make you grow. They helped me to become a leader. You know, it allows you to see the other side of what a classroom teacher has to do. So in the breakout sessions, they talk about being culturally responsive, knowing who you are, classroom management, transitioning. Everything has just been very helpful and big, and I believe all teachers need it. Door prizes, music, dance competitions. You have an opportunity to network and connect with other professionals. You know, have fun once in a while because we deserve it. If you are passionate about education and you are passionate about being an effective teacher, then do it and you should come all in. It's like one big family, and that's what makes it even more impactful. Make sure you keep coming back every day to watch, learn, and possibly earn $1,000 in our 27th anniversary sweepstakes. How do you enter to win $1,000? There are three ways to enter, all found in the video description. You can enter our giveaway directly through our website, or subscribe to the Yes Inc. Golden Newsletter, or like and comment these videos on YouTube. We will give away $1,000 daily when we reach a combination of 100 new giveaway entries from the three ways you can enter. Click the links in the description for the three ways to enter 
our 27th anniversary drawing. If you're one of the lucky daily winners, we will notify you by email and announce during our daily video. If you hear the bell at the beginning of the video, that means we have a lucky winner, and we'll announce the lucky winner at the beginning of the video. If there is no bell at the beginning of the video, that means there isn't a lucky winner for that day. We will check our entry numbers every day at 8.30 a.m., and we will post a new video every day at 10 a.m. with the name of the winner. You absolutely don't want to miss this. Enter now. Reminder, listen for the sound of the bell that sounds like this at the beginning of every video to see if we have a winner. Also, don't forget to save the dates for our amazing free five-day intensive educator preparation training in San Antonio, Texas, June 27th to July 1st, 2022. Click the link in the description to begin the selection process. Thanks for watching.